Um, I would I would have destroyed myself for this girl. Um, gladly, honestly, yeah, gladly. I mean, I would have eaten rubbish for her. Um, I would have I would have cut my wrist open for her uh, under right circumstances. I mean, if she'd come up to me and said, "Hey, Phil, why don't you just cut your wrist open?" <laughs> but no, I mean, I seriously, we we clicked. You know, we we connected. Uh, we connect on so many issues right off the bat. Um, we once yeah, we once talked about God for three hours. Three hours straight just about God. Um, I don't know what good it did, but it was just it was just that intensity, you know. Um, yeah, I really liked that. So, uh, first time I went to bed, um, I didn't touch her. I I didn't want to. If you. If you do you understand what I'm saying? I didn't want, I wanted to, but I didn't want to, you know? Um, and you know, I played it really casually in the beginning, because um, I'll be the first to admit it, I've had some rough experiences. But after a couple of weeks, I just felt like we were right there. Um, so I decided, I said, I'd just tell her everything. I would just, I mean, I trusted her, I, I thought she trusted me, um, and I just thought, yeah, no, I'd tell her everything. So I did, I told her and I, I laid it all out for her. And, um, and you know what she says to me? She says, uh, yeah, she says that uh, nobody should ever need another person that badly. Yeah. Nobody should ever. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. Nobody should ever. I mean, I, I mean, like, I take my heart and I dump it on the table and you give me this. Yeah, nobody need need I mean I'm trying to say that I love you but you're focusing on <laughs> is it wrong to love am, is that, am, am I am I in the wrong am I, am I not allowed to do that anymore am I not supposed to love well, what if I did need her honestly what if I did what if I needed her <laughs> look oh, you can crucify me but the fact is that I did Look, I don't want to be on my own. I'm on my own. I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I do. Honestly, I just... I sit there and I'm thinking, I'm not going to make it through the next 10 seconds. I, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I, I... I can't stand it. I really... I'm not going to make it through the next 10 seconds, but somehow, somehow, I do. I make it through those 10 seconds. But then, I have to do it all over again because these seconds, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. They just keep floating by. And I just... I'm sitting there. I'm just sitting there waiting, and I don't. I'm just waiting for some something to happen. I don't know what. It could be a car crash. Uh, it could be a nuclear war. It could be anything. Something that sounds awful. But at least it'll be this this tiny instant when I knew I was alive. <laughs> because honestly, I mean, I stand in front of the mirror sometimes, and I see me, but I I don't know if I'm actually there. I don't. I don't know if I actually exist. It's because. Right, it's like my body, right? My body is the size of Statue of Liberty, yeah. And I'm, I'm inside me. I'm inside. I'm down. I'm down inside my leg. I'm down in this gigantic hairy leg, yeah. And it's like I'm, I'm scraping around like some, like some tiny fetus or something. And, and I don't know. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going. And I sure as fuck wish I'd never been born. I just. <laughs> You know that's not even I, I, that's that's not everything. I mean, my hair is starting to fall out too, and I, that really sucks. <laughs>